Hello students, I am Dr. Gajendra Purohit. I upload videos for engineering, mathematics and BSc on my YouTube channel. If you are preparing for any competitive exam where higher mathematics is asked, my channel can be very helpful for you. I am again uploading a lot of videos on differential equations, which you can check out through the iTab. Today I am going to explain you about the particular integral here. And in the particular integral of a differential equation with constant coefficients, I have already told you how to find the pi for e to the power a x, how we find it for sine and cos, and today. I will explain how to find the pi for the x term, like if it is given x square, x cube, then in that case, how do we find their pi. You can watch older videos on iTab or through the link in description. It will help you to understand this concept. Now, let's begin with the video. Whenever a function is given in the symbolic form. We will take the symbolic form to denominator. Then what will we do? We will take this to the numerator and we will expand this using the binomial expansion. Then we will calculate the pi, right? Now pay attention to this example. It is given as d square plus 2dn plus 1 multiplied by y is equal to x square plus x. Let's say this question is given, you need to find the pi. Let's first get a basic idea about the cf. What is cf? We'll solve it and the value of m will be minus 1 and minus 1. So the cf for this will be c1 plus c2, x e to the power minus x and then we will calculate the pi. So what will we do? x square plus x and in the denominator it will be d square plus 2d plus 1 in this case. We take out the constant term common. Like it is d square 2d and 1. If it were d square and 2d, we would take out 2d. But it is 1 so we'll take 1 common. We will get x square plus x. And we are getting 1 on taking 1 common here. It will be 1 plus d square plus 2d. And we will take this and write its inverse, right? When you write its inverse, this will become d square plus 2d, right? We'll put this in brackets here and then write it like this. It will be inversed on upon going above. The formula for binomial expansion is important. There are two formulas. One is 1 plus x inverse and 1 minus x inverse. Remember this trick that when both are minus, then all the terms become plus. If it's given minus and minus, then all the terms will be plus. And if it's plus minus, then the terms will alternate between plus and minus like this, right? This will be the expansion of equation here. It is plus and this is minus. It will be plus minus alternatively. So 1 minus here d square plus 2d. And this will be plus d square plus 2d whole square. We will get the terms like this, but let me tell you here that what is the highest derivative of this x square plus x? Which we can obtain if we differentiate it once. We get 2x plus 1. Second time it will become 2 and third time it will be 0. So, in this expansion, only the terms up to d square are relevant. The rest of the terms can be neglected as they are irrelevant. If we multiply this by d cube, it will become 0, so it's irrelevant. First, let's expand this clearly. So, it becomes 1 minus d square minus 2d and from d square 2d, this term here will be useful. Square it, that is 4d square and you can leave the rest of the terms. Because that term is not useful for us, right? Now let me write it over there. Let's change the color, okay? So it becomes more clear. And now what we will get? Pay attention, it is 1 minus 2d and minus d square and plus 4d square will be plus 3d square, right? And this will be equal to x square plus x when we multiply x square plus x. This will be 1 into x square plus x minus 2d multiplied by x square plus x. And this will be plus 3d square multiplied by x square plus x, right? Now we know the derivative of this term will be x square plus x. So differentiate it once and we will get 2x plus 1. This will be minus 2 into 2x plus 1. And when we differentiate it again, we get 2. So 2 multiplied by 3 will be 6. We will get pi on simplifying and final answer will be cf plus pi. In this way, we can solve this type of question very easily. I will take some more examples. Suppose that we are given this question. So let me solve it and I have already explained the CF. But don't worry, I will explain it again for you. The CF that we will get. We will write it as m square minus a square. Wait here, we will put the implies sign. Into m square plus a square is equal to 0. And you know, we will get m is equal to plus minus a iota. And m is equal to plus minus a here, right? We will write it CFY is equal to and we will write its real root. So, this will be C1e to the power AX plus C2e to the power minus AX plus C3 cos AX and plus C4 sin AX. So, this will be the CF. Now, what do we do in particular integrals? We take the entire symbolic form below and this will be X to the power 4 upon. 
d to the power 4 minus a to the power 4 take constant term common and this minus 1 upon a to the power 4 will be common this will be x to the power 4 and upon this will become 1 minus d to the power 4 upon a to the power 4 right since we have taken minus a power 4 outside so we will get one here and minus here in denominator right now what will we do let's simplify this so this term as it is and 1 minus d power 4 upon a to the power 4 it will inverse above into x to the power 4 minus minus will become plus so we will get all positive terms and we will get 1 plus d to the power 4 upon a to the power 4 then whole square of d to the power 4 upon a to the power 4 in this step we will do its expansion but we know we can do at most 4 time differentiation of x to the power 4 hence this term and the terms after it are irrelevant multiply this x to the power 4 it will be 1 by a power 4 here x to the power 4 we will multiply x to the power 4 do not forget to put the minus sign and this will become d to the power 4 into x to the power 4 divided by a to the power 4 as we differentiate this once we will get 4 x cube and then 12 x square will come on the third time it will be 24 x and then it will be 24 so this 24 will be the value it will be minus 1 upon a to the power 4 into x to the power 4 plus 24 upon a to the power 4 this is the particular integral here the final answer will be cf plus pi this means we will add these two values of cf and pi that we obtained and we will get the answer this is how we solve this type of question look at this question d cube minus d square minus 6 dy equals x square plus 1 what we will do m cube minus m square minus 6 m is equal to 0 i will first explain the cf in this equation m can be taken out common like this right we will get m multiplied by m minus 3 and multiplied by m plus 2 it will be equal to 0 then what will be the value of m in this the value of m will be 0 and minus 2 and 3 is it clear we will write it cf y equals c1 e to the power 0 x plus c2 e to the power minus 2 x plus c3 e to the power 3 x now let us find the pi so y is equal to x square plus 1 by d cube minus d square minus 6 d so whenever we get this in this case we take the lowest power of d available or constant but we can see there is no constant so what will we do we will take minus 6 d common here this is x square plus 1 as it is now take this 6 d forward it will become 1 and then this will be d cube minus d square upon minus 6 d this 6 d will come here minus is taken in front right so we will get the value then what will we do y is equal to minus 1 upon 6 d i will cancel out with this d once and then i will take it above so 1 minus this will be d square minus d upon 6 and i will write this as inverse in the power here x square plus 1 this is minus this is minus all terms in the expansion will become plus we will write y is equal to minus 1 upon 6 d we will expand it so this will be 1 plus d square minus d upon 6 plus d square minus d upon 6 whole square right in this way we will get the terms and it will be x square plus 1 here and now we have y is equal to minus 1 upon 6 d here 1 and then write minus d by 6 plus d square by 6 the highest power of x is 2 so its derivative will be done twice which means in this expansion terms till d square are useful when you square it you will get d square so if we square this we will get d square upon 36 and then we will get it multiplied by x square plus 1 when we will simplify it we will get minus 1 by 6 d and here 1 minus d by 6 if we multiply and divide 6 we get 6 plus 1 equals 7 this will give us 7 d square upon 36 this will be x square plus 1 multiply the terms and this will be y equals minus 1 upon 6 d this will be x square plus 1 and minus 1 by 6 differentiation of x square plus 1 and here plus 7 upon 36 this will be into d square into x square plus 1 now what will we do y is equal to minus 1 upon 6 d this will be x square plus 1 and minus 1 upon 6 into 2 x and we will do it twice once we will get 2 x then we will get 2 so 7 into 2 upon 36 now we will simplify it so y is equal to minus 1 upon 6 d and first we will write the constant term this will become 7 by 18 on cancelling out okay let's keep the variable here so we will take this x square and if we solve this we will get x by 3 on solving it will be 7 by 18 now you can see we get 1 by d so this means we will integrate it if we integrate this once 1 by 6 integration of x square is x cube by 3 its integration is x square by 2 that is 6 and this will be 7 by 18 x 
So this is what we get. What will be the final answer? Cf plus pi and in this way we solve this equation. Look at this next question. It is m power 4 minus m square is equal to 0. If we take m square common, it will be m square minus 1 equals 0. You can see that the value of m is 0, 0 and plus minus 1 which will be the roots. After that we will find the Cf of this equation which is C1 plus. C2x e to the power of 0x plus c3 e to the power x plus c4 e to the power minus x will be the cf and now the pi will be e to the power 2x upon d to the power 4 minus d square and sin 2x divided by d power 4. I will write it as d square into d square minus d square plus x upon d to the power 4 minus d square, right? We are getting three different functions. I have written all three in this way. Now what we will do? Replace d with 2 because it is rule of e power to replace d with 2. Then it will become 2 to the power 4 minus 2 to the power 2 which is 16 minus 4. So 4 subtracted from 16 will give us 12. Now let's discuss about this. So whenever we derive it for sin 2x, tell me we do what in this case? Wherever d square is, we'll square minus 2. When we will square minus 2, it will be minus 4. This will also be minus 4 and this will be minus 4 as well. And now you can notice when we will add them, we will get the value which is 16 and minus minus plus. It will be 16 plus 4 is equal to 20. So it will be sine 2x divided by 20. Now let's solve this term. Whenever we get this term, we will take d square common, right? And since it's minus here, we will take minus 1 by d square common. And in bracket, we will get x upon. 1 minus d square will remain because d square is taken common outside. What will we do? Minus 1 by d square here. It becomes 1 by d square inverse in numerator into x. But when we expand this, minus minus becomes plus. Let me write it on the other side. Y is equal to, we will get e to the power 2x upon 12. And here it will be plus sine to x. Divided by 20 and minus 1 by d square. And then, we know minus minus becomes plus. And here when we expand it, d square plus d power 4. It will continue like this. We have 1 as highest power of x. So all these derivatives are irrelevant. x will be multiplied by 1. y equals e to the power 2x by 12. And plus it is sine 2 x upon 20. And minus d square, it will be multiplied by x here, right? If we will integrate x twice, we will get e to the power. 2x upon 12 plus sine 2 x upon 20. If we integrate it once, here we will get x square by 2 and multiplied by 1 by d, right? If we integrate this once more, we will get e to the power 2x upon 12 plus. Sin 2x upon 20, we will get x cubed by 3. It will become 6 in denominator. We will get pi and then the final answer is cf plus pi. In this way, we solve this question. Now this question is for the comment box. You have to solve it and tell me the answer. Also, let me know how much time you took to solve this question and what will be the correct option of this question. And I want to tell you that the playlist of differential equations which I had uploaded previously I am again uploading it and adding a lot of new questions and concepts in the new playlist. You can check out the old playlist here and the new videos I am uploading of differential equation, you can check them out from here. I am adding a lot of new content and short tricks on my new channel, so please subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. Share the answer in the comment box. Thank you.